Now, your WLKY weather with Chief Meteorologist Jay Cardosi. Well, what a nice day across the region. Beautiful way to begin this new work week, the last full week of October. We're talking wall-to-wall -wall sunshine as we pan back towards the right. Look at the setting sun down the Ohio River. I mean, it's just been a delightful afternoon. That trend continues right now. The numbers, 73 and 43. No rainfall. By the way, get used to the dry skies again. We've got a prolonged period of dry weather on the way going forward this work week. Right now, a pleasant 72, humidity 31%. Southeast breezes in here between 5 and 10 miles an hour. Okay, we're getting closer to dark, which by the way, sun goes down now before 7 o'clock, comes up 8 o'clock sharp in the morning. We're losing 2 to 3 minutes each and every day. And those days are getting short, aren't they? <laughs> My gosh. All right, we've got upper 60s and low 70s right now. It's wonderful out there. Any plans you have on this Monday evening, that walk around the block, that jog around the block, get out there and enjoy. It's going to stay beautiful. Mainly clear skies across much of the two-state region. Got a couple of showers well off to the north of us in the Great Lakes. A few showers, southern plains. But this is the main weather system I'm watching going forward the next seven to 10 days. This is a strong front that will be responsible for rain, for snow, for thunderstorms, and of course, much, much colder air. But it's going to get hung up off to the northwest of us all week long, even through the weekend, the way things are looking. And that means more beautiful weather for us. 70 at seven will slip down through the 60s as the evening hours unfold. Mainly clear skies. Enjoy when you wake up in the morning. We'll see just a couple of high clouds mixed in with that sunshine. It'll be cool, but not nearly as chilly as what we had this morning. I mean, we had some patchy frost in many, many locations. Don't think we're going to have that tomorrow morning as we'll be in the 40s or low 50s. Looking at 51, a start time temperature here in town. All right, your weather in motion, the future cast. Lots of sunshine again in the morning. We'll call it mostly sunny, and then those high clouds will thicken up mid to late afternoon. But it's still going to be a dry day, and it's going to be a very warm day for the time of year. Keep in mind the average high, upper 60s. Look at this. Upper 70s to near 80 tomorrow afternoon. Going to call it 79 here in town. Could get as warm as 82. Wow in the Huntingburg area. And this warm weather pattern, as I mentioned earlier, really isn't going away anytime soon. Here's the setup later into the week. There's that frontal system hung up off to the north. That'll be the focal point for rain. A few thunderstorms, showers off to the west and the colder air, the northern Rockies, North Dakota, the first accumulating snow of the season. But around here going forward, Ah, we're going to stay in that warm air with the southwesterly breezes, a mix of clouds and sunshine and temperatures well above average, anywhere from 75 to 80, really the rest of the work week through the weekend as well. Here's your forecast now. For this evening, clear, pleasant. 60s will push into the 50s a bit later on. Detailed 12-hour forecast for tomorrow. Low 50s will quickly zoom to 70 by midday. Going to go 79 as the clouds increase late in the afternoon. And we're still in the upper 70s, close to 80. Pretty much all work week long through the weekend as well. Could be a spotty shower Friday morning. Chances extremely low. Better chances for rain one week from today as that front finally sags through. And that means a much, much chillier Halloween is anticipated right now. 40s yeah. next Tuesday for the trick-or-treaters heading out. Hmm. I'll keep Maybe you like Winnie the Pooh, Chilly. Some, fr exactly. some cozy, furry costumes, what you need. I don't there know. You, it, good <laughs> advice. Exactly. <laughs> Thanks, Jay.